If I could only take one Coursera certificate and I wanted to land a high paying job with no prior experience, this is exactly what I would do. I've never made a video like this, but I just thought it would be a fun experiment to see because let's be real, there are too many courses out there and not enough time. You need to know what to do so you can block everything else out. And this is not gonna be one of those boring copycat videos. I've never even made this before and I'm gonna walk you through my decision and how I would use this course or cert to land a job. So the first thing that we need to get straight is gonna be the criteria of picking the cert. Searching for something that you don't know is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. So you gotta start with defining what you're looking for. But I know exactly what I'm searching for. So first, I want it to be a beginner-friendly course. I'm starting from zero with no prior skills. So it needs to be suitable for that level. I'm not gonna take something like machine learning from Stanford, no matter how many people tell me to do so, because frankly, as a beginner, that's not gonna help me. It's way too advanced and it's not realistic at all. You're not gonna become a machine learning engineer from taking a short online course. <laughs> The next thing that we need is going to be a reputable provider. On Coursera, every single certificate is created by different providers like Google or Stanford. I wanna make sure that my cert is going to be at the top because if I'm spending time on something, it needs to be really good, right? So I'm also gonna check the reviews to see if people like it before I start which is a pretty good idea for anything that you buy, to be honest. And so the next thing is gonna be, is the course long enough to get a job? Because hypothetically, could you start a new career with like five hours of training? Sure, but for most jobs, you're not gonna be able to do that. It needs to be long enough to the point where it matters. But at the same time, I don't want it to be months and months of you know studying, it should be efficient but still long enough to actually mean something. And so the most important thing on this list is going to be the market. There has to be companies looking for these skills, hiring people at the moment, because otherwise I'm not gonna get a job no matter how much I study if companies don't want me on the market. And the entire point of this video is to prepare for a job. So let's keep this in mind. And so my cert needs to be beginner friendly, reputable, long enough, in demand, and finally interesting because I don't want this to suck. It's gonna have to be fun, you know? It's not gonna be like going to a party, but fun for taking a course, at least. So now we're kind of done with the basics. Let's head over to Coursera. What first came to my mind were all of these universities, like Stanford and Yale, offering courses. And what I thought was, okay, they're really famous universities. Obviously their programs are gonna be the best and help me get a job, right? But actually, that's not the case. Universities are all about learning and research. They're great at teaching you theory and things like math and science. But when it comes to job skills, they kind of fall on their faces and I wouldn't trust them. But you know who I do trust? Well, it's the companies who are actually hiring for these positions, not the universities. The companies will teach me exactly what the market is looking for because frankly, they are the job market. They make up all the jobs. And so I'm thinking, what are the five top companies on Coursera? The first one is Google. We all know Google, the king of the internet. Google certs are about helping you jump into tech jobs really quickly with no degree and no experience needed, except for one company which usually asks for masters or PhDs, and that's Google themselves. Yeah, we've also got Microsoft, and uh, Microsoft is gonna teach you tools like to run the modern workplace, like Excel, Azure, and Power BI. Now, for some reason, Microsoft courses aren't as popular as Google, but they're actually really valuable. And if you're thinking about taking them, I would recommend them. We also have IBM, and IBM is kind of like the calm professor who breaks down the complicated tech stuff so that even your dog could follow along. The courses aren't as fancy, and they do get some hate for that, but IBM definitely knows their stuff, and they've been around so long. We also have Amazon, and I would say that they more focus on the technical stuff, like cloud computing. But I'm starting from scratch, and let's say that I'm not a tech person, then that's pretty hard. I'm not gonna get into cloud computing. I don't want that. So let's skip Amazon for now. So I decided to pick one company, and that's Google. And the reason why is because Google is the number one provider on Coursera. So I know they have been getting some slack for not having the most practical courses for valid reasons. And they often contain a lot of career advice and soft skills. That's exactly what I want. I don't necessarily want a super deep technical course. I actually want all the pieces to land a job fast. And what's gonna get you hired is not knowing the most, it's understanding the big picture, how to land a job, how to do resume things, how to apply. All the other pieces are really important and Google is pretty good at teaching you that. So which Google cert would I pick? Well, here are all the options and take a guess which one I would pick. 
The first one is data analytics. Now, data analytics is a high paying field, but pretty competitive at the moment. It's definitely on my list, but it's not what I would choose, even if you thought so. Data analytics is just really good, but it's too hard to get a job in quickly at the moment. The next one is going to be Google cybersecurity. And this is pretty interesting because you have six figure salaries. It's a rapidly growing field. Everybody wants to break into cyber, but cyber is hard. And I don't have time to learn that with only one course. That's only going to teach me the fundamentals. And I want to do this quickly. So cybersecurity isn't good either. But then we have project management. And sure, that would work, but I just don't find that very interesting. And here's where my personal preference comes in. Maybe you love project management and then you should take that one instead. But in my opinion, it's pretty boring. And then we have a Google UX design. And I'm just going to skip UX right away because I think it's pretty interesting. But the field is so competitive, it's like playing the Hunger Games. So I'm left with digital marketing and IT support. And here's where it gets really tough because I like both of them. But my final decision is actually Google IT support. And here's why. IT support pays around 50 to 60k per year entry level. You don't actually need to be a tech genius, just learn the basics. And there are many remote jobs, and I also hate morning commutes, so that's something to keep in mind. But IT support is also a gateway into other high-paying IT roles in the future that reach well beyond six figures. And even in recessions, support people are needed or the company is going to break and collapse. They can never fire the support people. They're kind of the least fireable. So that's why I would pick IT support. But all the other ones are pretty good too, just my personal preference. And this video was actually really fun to make. So click here to keep the fun going with my best rated video. And I'll see you there.